Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Question. How do I delete a non-federated WebSphere application server profile with the Manage Profiles command? Listing the profiles first helps confirm which profile is to be deleted and also gives us the profile name that we need to use in our command. If the profile is a federated profile, run the remove node command before you delete the profile. When you delete a profile, it does not delete the entire directory. A residual directory structure remains after you delete the profile. If you delete a profile that has augmenting template registered to it in the profile registry, then unaugmenting actions are performed for you automatically. If you delete an old node that was migrated, shut down the newly migrated deployment manager before you delete the old node. Shutting down the newly migrated deployment manager before you delete the old node ensures that the newly migrated node is not accidentally removed from the newly migrated cell. Run the list profiles command to verify that the profile is successfully removed. You can delete or leave the residual directory. However, the profile root logs directory contains information about uninstalling the profile. For example, you might retain the underscore node uninstalled log file to determine the cause of any problem that you experience during the uninstallation procedure. If you leave the residual directory, you will not be allowed to recreate the profile name in this directory location until you remove the residual directory. The full deletion and removal of the profile is now complete. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.